in cosmochemistry and geochemistry, we sometimes encounter equations, in particular in isotopes, where we need logarithms or uh, power laws. And therefore, I just want to very briefly sketch the most fundamental laws here that are quite handy in a couple of contexts to sometimes understand how equations are derived. Now, for example, b to the power of 0 equals 1 and b to the power of 1 equals b. This is quite straightforward. Same is for the logarithm with the basis b of 1 equals 0 and the logarithm basis b of b, of course, is then also 1. Now a few other laws are that if I um, have b to the power of n, and this again is to the power of m, is the same as b to the power of n times m. Or for logarithms, this would be the logarithm um, of some basis, I don't write down the base now every time, of x to the power of n, for example, is the same as n times the logarithm of x. Another one is that b to the power of minus n equals 1 divided by b to the power of n. Or for logarithms, it's basically similar to the previous one here. x to minus n, of course, is minus n logarithm of x here. Um, then b to the power of n times the b to the power of m is the same as b to the power of n plus m. So it is a little bit different than this one here. And um, an analogy is here the logarithm of x times y, for example, is then the logarithm of x plus the logarithm of y. And finally, it might be that we have a b to the power of n divided by b to the power of m, and this is then equal to b n minus m. So this is basically analog to this. And for logarithms, this is the logarithm of x divided by y is logarithm of x minus the logarithm of y. And because um, I was talking about context of cosmochemistry, for example, something like e to the power of the natural logarithm of x is then also following from the, the previous one, x. So this can be handy in context where we might have a sort of an equation that's coming out as something like the logarithm of a equals to the natural logarithm of b. And I can make e2 natural logarithm of a equals e2 natural logarithm of b. And then, of course, this is a equals b. So these are some kind of context, the latter one that might be encountered in isops. And then this comes in quite handy. As I said, just a very brief refresher on basic power and uh, exponential laws.